So, so you you left the flat for just over one minute, and they they knew. This is my neighbourhood of Moscow and in all the years I've lived here I've never seen it this quiet. This is a city that's now in coronavirus lockdown and although there are some cars here, some people are allowed to go to work, basically uh, there's very few people on the streets. And the way that the government here is enforcing this lockdown is to use high-tech surveillance systems. This is my usual walk to work but I've never noticed before just how many security cameras there are on this way and in fact there's one right here next to this poster uh, with details of how to keep yourself safe during this pandemic there's a camera there up on the top of the bus stop now tens of thousands of these cameras across moscow have been fitted with facial recognition software and that works in real time scanning people's faces and sending instant alerts to the police who can then detect anyone who might be breaking the quarantine i spoke to the man who developed the software the cameras are uh, on the uh, entrance of the buildings, uh, actually uh, almost on uh, every uh, entrance of the building there is a camera. Uh, one of the big advantages of our system that, is that we can uh, do it all in real time and all the alerts will be uh, instant. And uh, if we're talking about uh, uh, virus protection and some uh, epidemic protection, uh, it's very important to react in real time. The software can measure social distancing too and detects crowds. And the facial recognition is even effective with face masks. Officials here say hundreds of rule breakers have already been caught. And that includes people who were ordered to self-isolate just in case after foreign trips. Tests, uh, for COVID-19. Uh, I spoke to one man like that who got busted when he took his rubbish out. The police were at his door within half an hour. So, so you, you left the flat for one, one minute and one they, minute. they knew? Yeah, and they knew. Yeah, uh, on my question how, um, they say that uh, it was a face recognition system. In principle, for pandemic it's okay. After, I hope the world would be the same as it was. <laughs> I, I really hope. After that, we don't need uh, this control, this total control. Apart from essential work, Muscovites are now only allowed out of the house to go to the supermarket or to chemists. And soon we'll have to register online and get a code on our mobile phones even to do that. The mayor has announced that that part's on hold for now, but some Russians are still worried. I think Russia is going by uh, Chinese scenario and they want to get uh, testing all, all the technologies that now uh, uh, are created uh, in the state to, to have more control over the people, over their movement. The strict new rules and the very tough punishment for those breaking the quarantine have really cleared the streets here. But the big question is how much of this surveillance state will remain once the pandemic is over?